Hi there, David here once again, coming to you on behalf of BN Crypto. Today, we'll be taking a deeper dive on how to mine one specific cryptocurrency, and that's Monero. We'll talk a bit about what makes Monero special, but then we'll walk you through what you're going to need to know and to do to begin mining Monero yourself. What's awesome about Monero is that anyone can get mining with a reasonably modern computer and start earning today. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump into our guide on Monero mining in 2022. First, a little history. Originally launched in 2014, Monero, aka XMR, is an open source cryptocurrency that received recognition for its high anonymity. Monero is similar to Bitcoin, but its most distinguishing feature is undoubtedly its privacy. Monero's transactions are all completely anonymous and untraceable. The blockchain is specifically designed to hide all transaction details, including the sending and receiving addresses and the transaction amount. This is what makes it truly anonymous, far more than Bitcoin where none of these details are hidden. Also, Monero currently stands as a top cryptocurrency going by its market capitalization, coming in at around $3 billion at the time this video was written. So how does Monero work? Well, the network maintains privacy with the use of what are known as ring signatures. A ring signature transaction is composed of one real signer, who is then combined with several non-signers. From the outside, all signers appear to be equal and valid. However, the non-signers are taken from past transaction outputs that are drawn from the Monero blockchain, and they function as decoys in the ring signature transaction. The bottom line is that it makes it incredibly difficult to know who is sending how much money to who. As for validating blocks, the blockchain uses a proof-of-work consensus mechanism just like Bitcoin. However, unlike Bitcoin, XMR can be mined by almost any computer by using the device's CPU or GPU. Monero developers wanted to avoid the rise of specialized hardware equipment such as the ASICs that have taken over Bitcoin mining. Due to their high price, only some miners can afford to buy that equipment, thus making the network more centralized. Okay, we've talked a bit about the asset and there's a ton more you could learn about it, but now let's take a look at what you're all here for, how to mine. The first thing to know is that you have two basic choices for Monero mining. You can either join mining pools, or you can mine individually. Mining pools offer more predictable, steady rewards, as the whole pool offers their hash power and then splits the earnings. Going it alone means you can keep all of what you mine, but you'll likely be less successful on average, meaning payouts will be bigger, but less frequent. The good news, again, is that any standard computer can become a miner. As mentioned, you don't require ASICs or any special hardware, just a decent machine and some specific software, and you can be ready to go. However, there are a few things you will still need to consider. For one, overall profitability. We said most computers can mine Monero, but not all are efficient at it. The key factors to take into consideration here are the hash rate of your system, the cost of electricity, and if in a pool, any relevant fees. To make things a little simpler, there are online calculators that you can use that will determine your returns based on your setup's information and current network and market status. We'll link to one in the description so you can see if this endeavor is worth it for you. Also, if you are thinking about mining in a pool, know that some of the most popular Monero mining pools are Monero Ocean, XMR Pool, and Two Miners. You can additionally check on the statistics of a much broader pool list at miningpoolstats.stream or pools.xmr.wiki, which we'll also link to below. We should also mention that some cloud mining services do support Monero, but you'll have to look at each one individually to see what they offer, as cloud mining comes with its own considerations. If you'd like to know more about cloud mining, though, Check out our other video that covers the subject much more completely if you haven't already. Okay, you've determined that you want to mine, and have chosen whether to go it alone or in a pool. The next thing to decide is if you'll be mining using your computer's CPU or GPU. The main draw for GPU mining is that GPUs are generally more powerful and efficient at mining and multiple GPUs can be integrated into a single computer to maximize hash rate. That being said, both options can be viable depending on your specific variables. Okay, after deciding which route you're going to go, you're also going to need a Monero wallet. You can use any of the wallets that support Monero for this part, for example the My Monero wallet, but there are others. After you install the application on your desktop, create a new wallet and absolutely make sure to write down your mnemonic phrase so that you can still recover your wallet in case something happens to your device. You'll also be asked to create a PIN or password. Use locally to access the wallet on the specific machine you're mining on. Now, you have your wallet all set up, and this is where all the Monero you receive from mining rewards will be stored. Next, you're going to need some mining software. One of the most popular Monero mining applications is XMR Rig, but of course there's other options. Simply download the software and install it. Note that on Windows, you will receive a warning saying that the mining software might trigger your antivirus application. You'll need to add an exception for the miner to prevent the system from removing the files. Next, you'll need to configure the software to be tied to your wallet and mining pool. This can be done by customizing the file config.json. 
If you're using XMR Rig, you can generate the correct version of the file through the software. Simply go to Wizard, New Configuration, and Add Pool to add your chosen mining pool if you're using one. And here you can also add your wallet address that you created in the previous step. After this, you can go to the back end section of the wizard and select either the CPU option or the appropriate GPU option for your setup, either AMD or Nvidia. There's also a miscellaneous tab where you can choose to donate a percentage of your earnings to XMR Rig for writing the software. Finally, click on the results tab to see and download the config file. Download this config file and use it to replace the default file that came with the software, which you can find in the folder containing XMR Rig. Now you have the configuration file, the wallet, the mining pool if applicable, and are ready to run the Monero mining application for the first time. Note that it may take a moment or two to connect to your mining pool, but it should look something like this. Now, let's check that you're actually communicating with your chosen mining pool. Go to the website of your chosen pool and enter your Monero wallet address to see payment history. As long as you see something there, it's a sign that your device is communicating with that Monero mining pool. It should look something like this, depending on the service you're using. Remember that pools generally have minimum balances for payouts, so you may need to wait a bit before you start seeing actual returns. Now, sit back and let your device do all the work for you and wait for those XMR rewards. You'll see your rewards show up directly into your wallet once the pool sends the first payout. By the way, maybe you don't want to mine. Maybe you just want to buy some cryptocurrency. If that's the case, why not get it on the Stormgain Cryptocurrency Exchange? Stormgain is not only one of the hottest up and coming exchanges out there, it also offers several valuable perks such as a loyalty program, bonuses for referrals, annual interest on crypto deposits, and using the official app you can even begin cloud mining cryptocurrency for free today. If you're looking to purchase Bitcoin, Ethereum, stablecoins, or an array of other cryptocurrencies, then just know that Stormgain offers a little bit more than most other exchanges, so be sure to check them out. Congratulations, you're now a Monero miner, and we'll soon start to see XMR rewards piling up in your wallet. Admittedly, we only covered one specific path to getting started here, and there's of course a lot of other details and nuances to learn about Monero mining. But hopefully, what we've given you today is enough to get you started. Furthermore, as we all know, there's changes happening all the time in the world of cryptocurrency, and you're going to want to keep up. So why not check us out at beincrypto.com, where you'll find daily updates, analysis, and more. Also, don't forget about our other content right here on YouTube, such as interviews, educational videos, and our bi-weekly news show. And lastly, if trading is your thing, then come join our trading community on Telegram, where you'll get access to the latest technical analysis from our top traders. As always, thanks to all of you for watching, and we'll see you right here again real soon.